What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Legacy Cube Draft here on Magic the Gathering online internet dot deck cube time. I don't know. It's just sort of blended together. Solemngar is great. Muldrifter is great. Remand is cool. I am a, I'm, a, I'm a lesser Remand fan than most people, I would say. Vacay was exhausting. It's funny that you go on vacation and then you need a vacation from your vacation. Isn't that how it goes? Rampaging Balos also seems pretty gas. It's just Moldrifter. Dragon Lord Slime Gar. We just drafted blue, black, and white. I would like to avoid those, but I don't think it's happening. God, I don't like Hanger Back Walker. Hero's Downfall is great. I feel like if we take this... God, I just... I took it. I couldn't resist. Marari's Wake seems pretty good. Want to see big, fat dudes. I have no... Wow, that's... You've come to the wrong stream then, sir. I like a Master of the Wild Hunt. I bet that Rampaging Balos comes back. Got a me. <laughs> oh, man. That's good times. I think it's Master, and then we hope that the Balos comes back. Maybe we're blue-green. God, there's a lot of... Also, if this guy comes back, that would be gas. Let's try it. <gasps> Vivian Reed is so good. Oh yeah, I'm on. I'm 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 game for a Vivian Reed. Oh, Tatiova, Fat Emrakul, Fat Rickel? That's not good. That's not. I'm gonna have to put these plugs in because I had them out for several days, so they're probably getting real tight. Oh, Sneaky Cat. I actually like Tatiova a lot. I think it's really good card advantage. Life Crafter's best here, also pretty good. I'm going to take the Tatiova. Thrag Tusk. Trag Tusk into the Royals, also good. Hmm. It'd be sweet if this donation goal actually popped up at some point ever in our lives. We can take this Xenagos and maybe hope the Emrakul tables, and then we can have the... Uh... I'm going to take it in the Royal. I don't think we want another 5 drop, really. That's what it comes down to. Thrag Tusk is very good, though. Mm. Crying out loud. Of course, I'll take the 5 drop. Ugh. Blah. Look at this. Another really good 5 drop. Pretty good 5 drop. Is it just daze here? Do we just daze him? Are we even blue? Probably. I'm going to take the days. Sphinx is rev. No. We're not going to be big. We're, we're going to go two colors. We're going to keep the two color train alive. Carnage Tyrant. Let's keep that dream alive. She bit me. Hi, Trouble Cat. Now I'm only falling apart. Total eclipse of the heart. Tender shoot dryad. Part the water veil. Part the water veil seems great in this deck. Interesting. I did not know shooty dryad was in here. Yeah, we're just taking part here. Actually, Kira could be very good for our deck. I'm going to take part. Oh, 
Oh, the Rampaging Baelos did come back, and there's also a Botanical Sanctum in here. What do we like, guys? What do we like? Baelos seems like gas. I'm gonna take Baelos. We're gonna try that dude out. Oh, the Shaman came back! That's exactly what we wanted, so now we can ramp up to all these fives and sixes. That's great. Great! Not a big Serendip Freet fan, but I'll take it. Sure. We'll stay on we'll stay on brand. Oh, wait a street harvester. Alright. That might be playable. Total eclipse of the heart. A remorseful cleric? Sure. Garrick. A uh, Gary? I think it's Garrick. And there's nothing else in this pack I'm really interested in. Gear Hulk is actually very, very good. I'm going to take the Garrick. Then we can just go on turn five. We can uh, untap two lands, play something for six, then play our fifth land for our Baylots. Bird of Paradise? Edric? I bet Edric comes back. We're going to take this bird, though. If this, is a, if this is a coalition relic, I might be more inclined to take that. We're definitely taking bird here. Oh, yes. Snake. Easy pick. Easy game, easy life. Maybe that Terastanon comes back. Oh, Old Man plus Gear Hulk is a pretty hilarious thing. Actually, if you get a, a Greaves on a, an Old Man of the Sea, it's pretty bonkers, right? Mystic Snake's pretty much my pet card, for those that don't know. I'm playing with a knife right now. If you guys want to take bets on how long it'll take before I stab myself, feel free. Alright, Hunts, come on. Stop, Hunter. Nothing I can do, cause Hunter doesn't care about your thing. Oh, breeding pool and these two and the best sword? Come on. I'll fix that later, I don't care enough about it right now. It's gotta be Tree Speaker, unfortunately. Maybe the breeding pool comes back. Ugh. Gross. Old man going to the corner store. Man, Mike is something else, dude. How is that guy real? Nissa, tireless tracker. Oh, I'm liking all these. Channeler initiates also pretty good, just to ramp us to four. I think it's one of these two. If we play Tireless Tracker, we're likely playing 18 lands because of all these land synergies. I don't think I care about Nissa as much as I care about Channeler Initiate. Maybe I do. All right, we'll take it. She's a she's a planeswalker. Like Sylvan Library. Oh my god. Very easy pick there. Green Warden. That seems like an easy pick too. However, we do have three six drops already. It might just be a reflecting pool. Gives us second green and second blue for when we don't have that. I want to take Green Warden. Oh, search for tomorrow. All right, our deck is looking great right now. I'm a big fan. Greaves. I actually like Greaves in our deck. Putting on a Bailoth or like a Tatiova is really, or a Master of the Wild Hunt is really solid. And just as predicted, the Edric came back. 
This deck looks fantastic, and we still have another pack to go. Okay, well, that's cool. Can't get enough of that cookie crisp. Cookie crisp all day. Wow. Both of these are great. I'm going to go with the Green Seeker because we have Sylvan Library, which means Green Seeker can... We can put a card back on top with uh, Sylvan Library and then Green Seeker it. I'm a fan of that. God, the Chandler and she came back? Oh my god. Wicker Bow Elder? Every card we wanted has come back so far. Oof. Harvester, you can go on the sideboard. Rattleclaw is probably worse than Chandler Initiate. I don't care about days that much. Jesus. Well, we need two cards in this pack, so hopefully we can find them. Wicker Bow can go on the sideboard for now. Courser. Oh, it's probably just Misty Rainforest. I really like Lelendra, but I think we need a land like this. It also shuffles for Sylvan Library. Yeah, we're just going to take Misty here. We definitely don't need more playables at this point. I would like more playables, but we don't need them for sure. So. Sylvan Carry Added and Harmonize. If we take carry out, we're probably playing 16 lands. Like we have birds, tree speaker, search, channeler, dry green seeker, and sylvan carry added. We could also take harmonize, but I think we have a lot of card advantage as well. Hmm. Fascinating. Look with your harmonize. Oh, yeah, harmonize is just good. We'll just take harmonize. Devoted Druid, Seagate Oracle is fine. This pack is not super exciting. Seagate is obviously better than Wall of Blossoms, and I don't care about Devoted Druid. I think it's probably one of the weaker options. Phantasmal image. I like Vraska. A oh, actually, this is five. This is five minute Vraska, not six minute Vraska. We'll just take the image, and then we put lightning greaves on it. <laughs> Jokes on you, my guy will never die now. Don't put a lightning greaves on a phantasmal image. Magic pro tip: When you have a phantasmal image, put a lightning greaves on it. It'll never die. Don't don't do that. Oh, I like this guy. Thank you. Rad Josh Khan, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I am gonna take Metamorph. Pa pow. And this is our 16 land deck right here. Pro tip. Oh, interesting. Putting lightning on and stifling the trigger. That does work. 
My god, man. Oh, there's the Vraska we like. Also an Elder and a Wood Elves. I like Wood Elves better if we have Breeding Pool or Tropical Island. Yavimai Elder's a little bit... I, like, I always like Yavimai Elder, but he's a little too expensive. I don't care about Looter. I'll just take the Wood Elves. Birthing Pod. That could be very good. We have a good amount of creatures to do it three. We have Wood Elves, Seagate Oracle. I mean, I'm going to take the Birthing Pod. I don't think we're going to play it, but... Maybe we play it. We can take a Taiga. It gets us a red in case we have something else that's red that we want to take. Song of the Dryad is good removal. I don't have any red cards. I'm just going to take the song for now. Eh, whatever. Actually, maybe we'll take the Mutavault. I'm way more likely to play a Mutavault than I am to play a... Uh, Master of Waves in this deck. Master of Eggs. Hmm. I don't know. I wish I took the Glare, but I don't think we're playing that either. Summon Carry, I did not come back. That's fascinating. Hunt Master. Okay. Alright. So we need to make one cut if we're playing 24 lands, which I think we are, especially now that we have a Wood Elf as well. Hmm. Bam, I don't know how I feel about this deck. I like the way it seemed to come together, and I like all the cards in it. But a lot of times when I draft decks like this, they don't have enough oomph to really push through. Uh, we need one cut. And then we're going to play this. Tatiova is kind of like a Planeswalker, right? Like, instead of a plus ability, you just get to draw a card and gain a life every turn. I like Lightning Greaves. It kind of gives us some protection for cards like Rampaging Baloth or even Tatiova. Or Master. Or F Metamorph, depending on what they have. Maybe it's just Phantasm Image. I guess we don't need Oracle necessarily. It's probably one of the weaker links, I guess. So we're going to cut two here, add one here, and then add a Misty. Alright, let's do it. I'm not 100% on this deck, but I like it. I think it's cool. See what happens. My body is ready. Yeah, this is a good hand. We can do all the things. Bomat Courier. What a little dirt burger. Oh, what up, Mike? I might just want this into this guy. Mother of... Mother of Runs. It's pretty good against the mostly mono green deck. Hmm. I want to play Channeler initially just because I want to start getting the counters off. 
Also, if we draw a tree speaker, we can just play a tree speaker. Or we can suspend a search for tomorrow. All right. I'm pretty sure we're, we're dead. Which is a weird thing to say, but here we are. Make me feel some type of way. I got up real early. Boros Reckoner. Uh, what possessed me to get up so early today? The fact that I rear I uh, r backed my car into a post last night and had to go to the repair shop this morning. Yeah, pro green's a hell of a thing. I already feel like this game is unwinnable. Mother of Runes is not a fun card against the mono colored deck. Well, that's fascinating. I mean, this is 10 damage, though, so... Just like a Johnny. Oh, oh, and you're giving guys counters. I don't care what you say about us anyway. I don't care about that. Man, double strike is a hell of a drug. Oh, oh, and you're married, Tyler Moore. I don't care what they say about us anyway. I need a wrath of God. I feel like this game is very close if we don't have, if they don't have Mother of Runes. Like, Dan O'Mac, what's going on, buddy? I have binary in my name, you see. I'm just submitting like this. None of these cards are actually, like, I don't care about days. Old Man of the Sea could steal a mom. That could be good. Oh, keep. On the play, this hand is gas. We're just going to win with a Nissan turn two. Unless they kill our bird, in which case we don't have a second green, and then our plan is just... No, oh, for crying out loud. Now we're actually going to play this guy. Because that gives us a pretty baller. We can go bail off, make 4-4 next turn. Oh, biscuits. No, we can't. One, two, three, four, five. Let's play this in Carnage Carney T. Uh oh, and you're a Johnny. <laughs> I don't care about that. Oh, 
Uh, uh oh, and your history of banalia. Uh oh, and I have Vivian Reed, Mall Drifter. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, might as well evoke here, right? Or not evoke. I guess we'll just play. Yeah, we just cast. And we did not hit a land, ladies and gentlemen, which is unfortunate because kind of wanted a land there. If we attack, they can block and pro. And pro. Which only gets five through. And then they attack back for four. Which is fine. We'll block with a mole drifter, I guess. Alright, whatever. No, they just took seven. Interesting. I would have probably mommed and blocked. I mean, like, the odds of us having a removal spell for one mana. I guess it's, I mean... What's two damage among friends? Oh, wow, this guy, huh? He's the fat, he's the fanciest knight. Wow. Well, I don't have a second red, unfortunately. Guess we should have played Rampaging Baylos. One, two, three, four, five. We can play a Vivian Reed and kill their history of Benalia, which is pretty okay. Vivian goes to two, so she assuredly dies. This guy's a knight and this guy's a knight, though, so it's kind of a necessary thing to do. I actually think we're dead. Oh, no, what do you do? Don't look now, but I lost my shoe. I'm just going to pass. God, Mother of Runes is so obnoxious. Sure. Oh, we, ooh, I look just like Buddy Holly. Oh, oh, and you're Mary Tyler Moore. Does Vivian Reed survive a turn? Probably not anymore. No. All three at Vivian, huh? Big Vivs, big Vivs, big Vivs. Block you. Block you. Mm, block you, actually. What's it gonna be? Oh, I just get to eat both those guys? Sure. That's a great deal. One, two, three, four, five, six. You have enough damage to triple block and kill the Carnage Tyrant, but I don't know if I care about that. You can give pro green to this guy. Hmm. We could also go Nissa, put a counter on both these guys, and then just the, we, we, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If they pair this guy with something, we're not going to rampaging Bailoth this turn. We could next turn if we hit another land. One, two, three, four, five, six. They, I, I don't like them triple blocking and giving like this guy pro green. It's 
pretty bad. However, Nissa putting counters on both of these guys and then just attacking doesn't seem terrible. We also harmonize, try to hit Phantasmal Image. Do we put Phantasmal Image sideboard? No. Okay. I think we're actually just going to Carnage Tyrant here. Attack. If they want to trade, we can trade for two of their guys. Then they have two guys on board, and then we get to do whatever we want post combat. Oh, interesting. Pass. Sure. That's pretty decent. I think we're just going to part here. Because I want to be able to untap, play a land, play Rampaging Bay Loss. The best is yet to come. Mm -hmm. I want to actually crack this now in case we crack it later and then they have like Path Dexile or something. Oh boy. Sometimes you just live that dream. Huh. This seems good for us. We have a bird. And we have a Bayloth. <laughs> uh huh. So you can go trade. You can go double block one of these guys. Or you can go block, triple block here. But we still get to eat both of these guys. Yeah, that's fine. Aren't you dead here? No, you go to two? All right. So we just want lands here, just a forest off the top. And that'll do it. And it would have been a forest, so we could have played Nyssa, put counters on all of our guys, make another beast, do the thing. Okay, so. Old Man of the Sea seems pretty great here. Uh... First off, Taunus. Wow, that was insane. Second, damn you, Taunus. I heard thank you in my sleep. Yeah. Thank you. That is, uh... Definitely a thing. Uh, Lightning Reeves actually seems kind of irrelevant. I don't know how many things to target our stuff with. Aether Sphere Harvester actually seems pretty good. Arctic seems really good against land destruction. I don't know why they kept that in. That's fascinating. Yeah, Harvester's great against Mom, too. Uh, I will keep this hand. Turn one Mom again. All three games. No! No, Mom.
Turn to Isamaru. Really, bird, really. Well, here we are. You gonna mana tithe me? No. Okay. You could have definitely mana tithe that. Would have been pretty good. Oh, Mirror and Crusader. I can steal that. Um can put these two back. Is it less than or equal to? Yeah. We can also just block it. Trade. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Guess we'll take ten. Like you do. Oh. <laughs> put on top. Put on top. Play a bird. <laughs> to live. Whiteness and the blue. Might have wanted to copy this. Now we might have difficulty dealing with it, but we do have a Tatiova. So we can take like f six this turn. Oh, we might just have to kill it, actually. Or I might have to have to block it, rather, not kill it. That's the opposite. Mm hmm. What did you vote for? Bird of Paradise. All right. I will also vote for Bird of Paradise. That's an aggressive. All right. Gotta gotta hit something here. Oh, I'm still alive here. Oh, I'm still alive. We're going to wait till they go to combat in case they want to play something like Silverblade Paladin. Yep. Never didn't have it. All right. I mean, even if we even if we copied this, they they had council's judgment. So, what can you do? Yeah, deck seems fine.
Wow. I'm going to keep it in his hand in the hopes that we hit one forest. One forest in his hand is gasoline. And we don't actually need it until the second turn. All right. One forest. Any other land lets us play Greaves. But one forest lets us go Green Seeker into a Search for Tomorrow. So. Come on. God, we're good at this game. Nailed it. Oh, that's a pain in the a butt. In the butt cheeks. We're just going to suspend this to guarantee land. God, we just don't have many great answers to flying creatures. The thing I, I the thing you realize about the, the blue and the green decks is that they don't have a lot of answers to creatures or planeswalkers. Like, you can copy them or steal them if you get them, but those, those kind of answers are few and far between. Yeah, that's fine. So I don't know how this Hypnotic Spectre doesn't just absolutely destroy us here. So we draw a Shaman. Can we... There we go. Can we look at a card? Be a land. Never a land. Okay. Seems good. <laughs> and by good, he means bad. Make no mistake, it was not good. It was bad. I'll dismember. Well, that's not terrible. Days. Go ahead, daze it. I dare you. Where the heck have you been? Whatever. All right. 400 bits. Thanks so much for seeing quotes. Really appreciate it. Happy birthday from Jack Ryan and Amazon Prime. <laughs> oh, that's pretty hilarious. So one of these two power flyers for three mana gives them a card. The other makes me discard a card. Okay. Okay. Enjoy your Carnage Tyrant. They can't cast either of these. And Wood Elves is never going to get them a land, so that's good. At least we got that going for us. Well, I'll make you sacrifice a creature, sure. This guy's done nothing for us. Oh, great. Oh, great. Wait, they just I just get to kill Liliana here? Fascinating. One, two, three, four, five. We have five mana. I can metamorph. 
I can metamorph for three. Copy tree speaker. I can also just metamorph copy Night Veil Spectre. That seems pretty good. That would end this cycle of abuse. But then we can put the uh, put the Greaves on the. How are we still alive here? How are we very much still in this game? All right, two, three, flyer with shroud. Seems good. Blocks all of your idiots. Sure, I guess you play greaves of your own. Oh, you steal that? Fascinating. I feel like greaves was the take there. Now you just get a boring tree speaker. I mean, I'm guaranteed to draw lands at some point, I assume, so. like right now. Seems good. All right, they have two cards. All right, well, this is an aggressive attack. They stole an island. Played an island. Better than stealing a forest, which gets you like a Wood Elves, just a free card. They can't cast Carnage Tyrant because they can't activate this. <laughs> <laughs> that is not how that works. Yeah, they don't have any green. They can't really level a creature, so... Yep. Hmm. Yep, recurring nightmare house chigger is pretty annoying. Sure. Days. Days was one of my final two cards. Nope, okay. So they sacrifice this guy to get nothing back, I guess. Okay. What up, Dragosi? I think we're dead. See, this is what I mean about the green-blue decks. Like, I think they really appeal to me and they look super cool. But, um... If we block here, they can sack hostage taker to get this back. Yeah, I'll just block here. You can just stop there. We're just going to play Nyssa and Chandler Initiate. We're going to keep the forest in hand. Actually, maybe we should play Baylos. Baylos is probably better. I don't want to discard the Baylos, but I guess we can block here. And then we'll take something stupid. Yeah, it's fine on there. That's where we want him anyway. Oh, God, recurring nightmare. Like, if we actually attack, they just block, and then they pay four, play this, steal this, play with their Ag Tusk, and then we just cry. We're just going to plus here. Like, the, the funny thing is we're trying to avoid putting any creatures in their graveyard whatsoever, and uh, it's not really easy to do. Uh, 
All right. Are they both going at me? Fascinating. 50-50. Yep. Never win a coin flip. Cool. All right. We're just going to go to the next game. I do not feel favored here. Crying out loud. Do we have anything that... Oh, Wicker Balder. Please. Immediately. No. Days actually might be decent here. Old Man on the Sea seems great. This guy's been... Uh, pretty much an MVP, it seems. Uh, Dryad Green Seeker has been pretty bad, unfortunately. I think Tatiova is actually too slow. I mean, for this format, she just doesn't do anything. Let's play first. I'll keep this hand. It's very slow, but we have the lands we need for Nyssa, followed by ideally a Harmonize. Okay. Let's make music. The sad thing is I want to get a an uh, a planes with this so that we can cast not a planes a forest so we can cast Nissa. But then I also want to get an island because we'll be getting a forest with this guy. So now I kind of just want a tree speaker and I'm just going to play Nissa. Playing Nissa on an empty board is pretty strong. Plus, next turn we can Wood Elves get a Forest and Tree Speaker. They're just going to play a three power, uh, three three mana Flyer, but we can't really do anything about that. So, what can you do? Sure. So long, Tree Speaker. I hardly knew you. Oh, the Wood Elves. Not what I was expecting. I guess Wood Elves, I guess they probably have a way to kill Tree Speaker. <laughs> Unhinged Island, what's going on? You are the best of the Unhinged Lands. In response, I will ultimate price your guy. Oh, you didn't do that. Okay, Liliana. Be sure to Phantasm with your Masquerum this turn. So that I can take eight 
and then you can kill me with Xaxes. Phyrexian Metamorph will also work. I will accept either of the clone effects. This draft, unfortunately... Did not go and we're done okay I had a good time all right let's see if we can actually win a match that is our question here Here we go. Oh, we're in the O2 bracket, so theoretically, theoretically, we got this. Okay, well, not with this hand. Any A green source in this hand is actually the nuts. Turn one tree speaker or, or the other one, mulligan. This is still very good. I mean, it doesn't matter. We're going we're gonna to search you away. I guess it does matter because we're on the draw, so. Be all. Gotta keep checking for the mail. Or the uh, the UPS guy, rather. Greetings. Greetings. You're suspended. All right, so we can go turn Garrick into Vivian. All right, we got this. We got this. This is a winning combination. Probably gonna get a green here, guys. Greetings is what you say when you can't decide on one hey, hi, or the like, so just <laughs> greetings. Green. Green tings. Oh, it might be that guy instead. Whatever we play is gonna get countered. They have four mana and they didn't do anything, so just gonna let them counter our spell. Yep, like you do. Ooh, Vivian Reed actually seems gas if they uh, tap out for something stupid like a Wall of Omens and something dumb. Yep, that's a good one. Cool, it's the green-blue sword against my green-blue deck. I want to die now. I can't even, guys. I can't. Vivian can kill the sword, go to two. God, I really wanted to kill this, though. That's the problem here. Like, we just can't get them, let them get another hit in, so...
I mean, hopefully they just don't attack Vivian, right? Let her live. Yep. I actually wish I'd led with Garrick because I think on board Master is a better threat than the other thing. Because now Garrick just goes to two. And dies. I'll hit you again. What is this, a bit you're doing? Mike's new bit. <sighs> yep, all right, we're just done. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna end this game now because I feel like I'm dead inside already. All right, Wickerbow Elder, you can come in immediately. Song of the Dryads, you can come in immediately. Old Man of the Sea, you can also come in immediately. Take out the Greaves. Take out the... I don't know, Phantasm Image, I guess. And we'll just deal with it. Let's play first. I'll keep it. Any green and we're good. We also have double blue for old man on the sea, so. Like you do, no green. No green to be had. One green begets two green. Any land. Oh my god. Did we both miss a land drop or are you just trolling me? Whoa. Whoa, we're in it to win it, guys. I kind of want to just play library here because I don't want to get mana tithed. And this will let us ensure hitting future lands. On the bright side, you have a slightly higher chance of hitting a land next turn. That's true. You've increased your odds of hitting land by 0.07%. That was a robot voice I did. I cannot guarantee that it was how an actual robot would sound. Are you going to silver blade paladin me again, you scumbag? Um, Put on top. Put on top. Let's, oh, oh, we could have actually Master of the Wild Hunted here. That would have, might have been better. Oh, that might have been so much better. But maybe we can just steal this Silver Lid Paladin. I think it's going to be fine. I think it's going to be good. I can't imagine the blue-white deck has that many answers for a card like Old Man on the Sea. Other than, like, the deck in stone that we saw. But then we get to keep our Master of the Wild Hunt. Valley Man, what's going on? Oh, 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 oh. Come on, I'll block. He don't have he don't have double strike by default, my boy. All right, we're gonna put this on top. Put on top. Put you on top. I'm gonna assume you have a spell queller because that seems like the kind of thing you would do. So we'll just play this guy. Thank you. Valley man, thank you so much for gifting subs. Really appreciate it, buddy. I'm gonna steal this guy.
that's just fine. Well, that's unfortunate. I guess we get to resolve a Master of the Wild Hunt now, which is pretty strong. And it's still possible to get a land here. And we did it. Put on top. Put on top. And we get to play around Mana Tithe. Everything's coming up Millhouse. Stop petting the cat? What does that even mean? Is that a euphemism? Is there, is there a cat here? What's even what are you saying right now? Are you on drugs? Have you uh you had one too many jazz cigarettes? Remember the time LaFoe didn't know what a jazz cigarette was? <laughs> you are having stroke. That's good. That's good. Use a What's a jazz cigarette? Are you serious right now? You don't know what a jazz cigarette is? Hunter doesn't mind cats. Hunter lives with a cat. Hunter and cats are bros. What happens if you do Google? I just thought that Thomas went crazy, figured out to do budget calls. <laughs> That's gas, dude. Valley man, you're the best. I am gonna look up jazz cigarette and see what happens. Okay, it's oh this oh this is great. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're doing it. This is one of the images that comes up. Jazz cigarettes mixed by Leonard, collective discharge dot blogspot dot com. Jazz cigarettes. Oh boy. You're just tagging with this guy? Alright. He's not long for this world, I'm gonna be honest with you. I put jazz cigarettes in my... Do you put the cigarettes in your bong? That seems inefficient, because then you're smoking the rolling papers, too. That's weird. Why would you do that? Kind Buzz, you sound like you don't know how smoking works. I expected better, Kind Buds. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> and kill this guy. Let me get my elf. We are going to lose Song of the Dryad and Raging Rampaging Baloth, which is just fine. Pretty sure we can't lose this game now. Get on top. If you leave me now, you take away the biggest part. I have to I have to replace a key on my key ring, so you guys might hear that. I don't know if that's gonna be some sweet key ASMR for you guys. Some jingling change ASMR. I have to like pry it up off of the thing. God, keys are such a pain in the ass. Key rings are something else, man. What a weird invention. Ooh, please don't go. I think we're gonna let this happen, and then we're just gonna kill the hero next turn. That seems better than killing just the Silverblade Paladin. This oh, we can actually f make a metamorph that hero. What's a jazz cigarette, guys? Come on, LaFoaf. Get it together, buddy. 
Also, we get the plus Vivian read. Yeah, we're just in. What is this right here? What are we looking at? Have you, uh, you had one too many jazz cigarettes? Remember the time LaFoe didn't know what a jazz cigarette was? <laughs> oh, man. I want to put this back on top. Put you back on top, too. We don't need that many things. And then I'm going to look at all the cards. Look with your special cards. Now I'll take a green seeker. Do we just play Carney T and Master of the Wild Hunt this guy? That feels good. And we only lose one wolf boy. Wolf boy. That was a good deal. I'm going to keep playing around. Uh... Oh, next turn we can metamorph. This is round three. Safali. Oh, Elon Musk was on uh, Joe Rogan's podcast? That sounds amazing. I'm definitely game for that. If you leave me now. You take away the biggest part of me. Ooh, what's that? Why is the song stuck in my head? I mean, literally, no one knows. They smoked a jazz cigarette. That's a hell of a show. I commend my opponent for still playing this game. Takes a lot of heart. Control magic. Man, I got a wicker bow elder. Don't even start with me. Ooh. So what do we need? Five mana for this? So we can put you back. Put on top. Put on top. Can we hit lands with you? Gosh, she's so good. I just want to land so I can go. Wow, no lands, huh? Oh, Snake Ooh. Yeah, we got to do this now. I don't want them to get a wolf out of it. And that'll do it. All right, well, they put up a good fight. Oh, I'm not dead yet. I think we're good. I think we just submit like this. Thank you. What happened? What did I miss? Gunners, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back, my boy. I don't like this hand. Yeah, this hand's great, though. Turn two, turn three, turn four. We got all the things. Both went to six. Oh, yeah, you can stay on top. That's a turn three Garrick. Garukums. And they can't counter my Channeler Initiate. They can counter Garrick, though, if they get there. My eyes are rolling so far back in my head that I think I'm going to have a stroke. I don't know if that's the uh, the correct um, precursor to a stroke, but it's going to happen. So, Max Goat, because I figured it would be a, a good size to hold joints. We're wrong. Thomas, is, is Elon Musk on the entire episode? It's two hours and 40 minutes with Elon Musk and him and Joe Rogan smoke a doobie? Because that sounds incredible. <laughs> That's absolutely amazing. 
I kind of just want to pass here with Mystic Snake up. If they don't want to, if they want to just keep their their spell queller up, which they have every game, then I'll just deal with it. Oh my god, that's great, dude. I'm gonna actually counter this because then you don't have three mana, and then I can play whatever I want next turn, which is really what I want to do. Let's see if you want to activate Mother of Runes. I bet you do. You have no reason not to. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You done messed up, hey, hey, Ron. Beautiful. I mean, kind buds, to be fair, Elon Musk will also not be alive in 100 years, so. Oh, I'm definitely watching this Joe Rogan podcast. This is gas. You guys remember when Joe Rogan was on, uh, God, what was that show? News Radio? Oh, Maloku could be problematic. Never mind. Oh, wow, that's really something, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's unfortunate. Do we just overrun Garrick here? This is like 15 damage. They gotta block something, right? And then we can play a land, play Vivian, and kill the Maloku. Ah, they're probably going to give a pro green. How are we drawing five cards from Thrag Tusk? This is not that Garrick. I think it's actually Thrag Tusk and then just... One, two, three. Actually, we can do both things, right? We can go one, two. Untap two. Then we have one, two, three, four. We have to do Vivian here. Let's plus Vivian. And we have five mana. Um, yeah, Wicker Bottle is fine. That's a guy. One, two, three, four. Green, green. And Tragarino. I'm having a good time. We're all having a good time. Well, that dude's a pain in my butt. Pain in my butt. Break me off a piece of that fancy feast. I would be very surprised if they didn't attack here. You have to get Garrick, right? Yeah, because otherwise I overrun. Break me off a piece of that football cream. Jersey team. Office meme.
this guy is so problematic. I'm I I am losing my mind here. They just go pro green, pro green. Oh boy. Did we just lose to like Mirror Crusader? Would have really liked part the water wheel here, actually. I guess we'll take master. Play master. Um, untap two, and green, green, play this boy. And there's no point in attacking with any of our creatures. However, Master of the Wild Hunt next turn is uh, pretty good because it can get Mom. God, if we get to Emblem Vivian Reed, that would be so sick. See, we have no flyers, though. This is another thing. Like, we have no flyers whatsoever, so. Also, this guy's ultimate ability is not that great right now. This, aside from costing 11 mana, they could just make infinite guys with Maloku and... Oh, Garrick's definitely dead. I mean, that has nothing to do with Master of the Wild Hunt, though. Oh, interesting. Oh, wow, you're gonna give me another Garrick. Break me off a piece of that Garrick boy! So we're at a point now where we can actually try to kill Mom and then kill Maloku. And that's pretty cool. That seems good. That seems good. Actually, I guess we can activate this guy instead, right? Blue, blue. We can actually not take damage here, right? Spell Quiller. That's fine. Kill mom. You will undoubtedly give your mom protection. <laughs> give your mom protection! Sure. Choose blue. Dang it. Kapow. Man, Vivian Reed is a real planeswalker. Cast you as a Maloku. Uh, we'll pay one of these green boys. 
return a blue boy. Play our blue boy. Untap two lands. And we'll pass it up. Also, Wicker Bow Elder can kill this guy now. That's pretty cool. Yeah, everything else just pretty much dies to Mirror and Crusader, though. But now we can tick up Mirren Crusader pretty efficiently unless they give Maloku like pro blue or something. But the thing is we don't actually even care about Porcelain Legionnaire here, so I'm not too worried about it. Let's try to hit a Rampaging Bailoth. Okay, we did. <laughs> and we're going to go add to blue, blue. Wait, no. Green, green. The only reason I didn't click green was because it was all the way down, so. Always yes and always yield. And we're probably just going to alpha next turn. Also, Rampaging Bailoth Maloku is a pretty sweet combo. Sure. I don't think Alpha would have won last turn. I'm pretty sure. Uh, because these two couldn't attack. Oh, yeah. Now you're dead. <laughs> now you're dead. Oh, boy. See if you want to give this guy plus one, plus one, or pro. Oh, all right. They just gave up. All right. Now let me go back to that game. I want to say good games. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch or Patreon. Links are below in the description. And I'll see you guys next time. Really appreciate it.